In this video, we'll be looking at completing an amortization table for a given word problem. So please take a moment to pause the video and read the question. Okay, so we see that awesome went on the spending screen. He spent $2,000. So my initial balance of my loan or on my credit card is going to be $2,000. I then need to look at the fact that I got 24% interest, which is compounded monthly. So to find my monthly interest rate, I want to take 0.24, which is the interest rate as a decimal, divide that by 12. So I'm going to be paying 2% interest a month, and my payment will be $400. So for the first column here, the interest I'm going to pay is the 0.02 times the 2,000, which gives me $40. My payment will be my $400 minus my interest. So this is what actually goes on to the balance. That's the principal paid. And then the remaining balance is $1,640 or the balance subtract off the principal paid. For the second month, I'm going to pay $32.80 in interest. So again, I get that by multiplying 0 0.02 by, two, by 1640 now, which means that the amount I pay onto the principal or onto my balance is going to be my payment minus my interest. So I'll be paying $367.20. And my balance will now be $1,272.80. So what I have to do is use the previous balance to calculate the interest. I need to subtract the interest from my $400. And then I need to subtract that column from my balance. So as we go across here, we'll see that I'm using this column and this number to find the interest here and this number to find the interest here. And then I'm subtracting the interest from my total payment to find out how much is going on the principal and then what I've got remaining. So here, I'd have $17 in interest and I'd have $382 that I'm paying to the principal. So I have $500 left. Here, I've got $10 in interest which means I'm putting $389 on here now, which means now I've got $126 left. Which means my payment for the last month, if I want to end up with a final balance of zero, is going to have to be $129 and roughly eight cents because I need the 126 of my only balance. I need to pay the $2.53 interest I had and that will mean I paid off my credit card in six months. And the amount of interest that I had to pay over that time period, having $2,000 on my credit card, was $129 in interest. And this would add up to $2,000 because that's how much we paid in terms of the balance.